Hey everyone, Swam with Black Box Stocks, glad to be back with you. And today we're going to talk about a, an indicator, a study built in the black box called the Go No Go Trend. Now, earlier this year, we had time to sit down with the creators of Go No Go, Alex and Tyler. They were so gracious to take time out of their busy schedules to explain the reason why they came out with this, this indicator, what are some of the things behind it. And really, to break it down quickly for you, the main reason they created this was to have clean charts. If you notice on this chart, I don't have VWAP, I don't have EMAs, I don't have the Bollinger Bands, Keltner Channels, Pivot Points, none of that. And we've all seen those charts, right? They get so busy, look like spaghetti bowls. Yeah, so what they've done is they've taken dozens of different indicators and all incorporated them into one. So this helps us have a clean chart and get a quick picture of what the trend is on a ticker. Now you may be asking, what do the different colors mean? They're not your standard colors of candles of red and green. There's actually five colors. There's two different shades of blue, there's an amber or an orange, and then there's two shades of, of purple or pink. And what they stand for, if I come up here to studies and go to no, go no go trend and hit this little information icon, it explains to me what these are. So the bright blue right here that you can see here is the most bullish. In this case, the strongest bullish environment. Aqua means the bullish trend is starting to weaken, okay? Amber bars that you see here represent uncertainty. We don't know which way we're going to go. Are we are we going to go from bullish to bearish? Are we just going to go sideways for a little while? Unsure. And then you have pink, which would be a lower intensity of bearish environment. And then dark purple would be your uh, most bearish environment. So as you can see here, what happens is this morning we had a couple goes out of in the pre-market. And then we had some strong bullish weaken, strong bullish weaken, followed by a little uncertainty, and then wham, we got hit with another strong bullish right there, right before 10 o'clock Eastern, and we had this strong bullish run on the trend, and then we started to get the lighter ones, the aqua colors, and which means it's weakening, eventually a no-go, which tells us it was weakening, but then it got bought back up, okay? Now, as is, as is in the case with any indicator, the longer the time frame that you look at it, a lot of times the stronger the indicator right so for example i don't use go no go on a one minute chart i don't go anything less than a three minute and here's why look at this once i go to a three minute look what got removed all of those other goes and no goes this one from pre-market this very first one we got go right there held as a strong it weakened but bought the dip weakened bought the dip and just continued to climb throughout the whole day today. We have not had a single change in that trend on the three minute. If I go to a five minute, same thing. We have this go sim single right here and we held it the entire day. If I go back to three minute. Now, in one of our previous videos, we also talked about the orb strategy, right? Opening range breakout. So let me add that in here, the orb 15 and the orb 30. You can see how these levels came into play today as well on NVIDIA. We broke, we hit it, we wicked it, came back down, consolidated, bought right back up, found resistance there, but we set a, uh, a higher low. Once we broke through it, what did we do? We retested. And once we got that retest, we bounced. Breakout, retest, bounce off of the orb. Throw that in with your go, no go. This is a beautiful way to continue to stay in a trade. We alerted these this morning, 20 minutes after the open. They're currently going for about 150%. And the only reason why you would not get out of this trade is you would just keep moving your stops up. There's no reason to get out because we have not broken the trend. So if you're like a lot of traders, myself included, you're like, oh man, I should have stayed in that trade. This go, no go trend study helps you stay in that trade longer. Let's look at SPY. Same thing on SPY. Look at this beautiful thing on this beautiful layout on SPY. We got this go. Once we broke out of this orb high right there, we broke out of it and we stayed in that bullish trend all afternoon. Again, um, that is a $3 move, almost a $4 move on SPY based again off of this go, no go trend. Why would you get off this trade? Just keep moving those stops up, move those stops up, move those stops up and let the ticker stop you out if it so desires. So hopefully it helps you stay green. Remember, go, no, go trend. You can find it under studies. Just type in G-O, you'll find it. Hit that star, marking it as a favorite, and then it'll always be at the top of your list. 
Again, thanks for joining. Stay green. Swan out.